Okay, so in this lesson, I wanna communicate with my backend from the frontend. Okay, so at first, make sure that you run the backend, and here, then come to the frontend, and here I wanna install some packages. Okay, so the first package is Axios. Okay, and then the second one is React Hot Toast, and the last one is tan stack react query okay so make sure that you install these packages and now we're good to go and we can start creating our project and at first here in the package.json we need to add another property called proxy okay and this is equal to or server endpoint that is running on okay so in this case here it's the local host and for this i write http local host and then port 5000 okay and this is double quotation okay now we need to run our frontend with yarn start and now if we go to the register pass, we can see our register form. Okay, so here in the index.js file, I wanna import the query client provider from Thanistack React Query. And the second one that I want to import is query client okay so here at first i call the query client provider and i put all of the things in my query client provider and then the query client provider must be in the redux provider so i put here and yes that's it and for the query client provider it accepts a client and for the client I create a constant called query client and this is equal to new query client okay and the client is equal to query client and now we're good to go and in our register page we can use the query client okay so here up here at first you need to import use mutation from react query okay and then here we can use the react query with the syntax okay so i use use mutation hook and here i must pass some options for the mutation function i must pass a function that returns promise okay so here for the callback we must get the name the email and the password from our form and then we pass this properties to a function called sign up okay and this function returns a promise okay we haven't created this function but we will create it very soon okay and then here we pass the name email and the password that we got from the form okay and now let's create this sign up function and here in the services folder i need to create a services folder and in this folder i create another folder called index and in this index folder i create a file called users.js okay actually it's js not jsx and at first i import axios from axios and then i create a function called sign up and this is a asynchronous function and it accepts the name email and the password and here I need to send a request with Axios and for sending a request with Axios at first we need to 
right a try catch block and here i say an object okay because we want to pull out the data from the axios response so i say await axios that post and here we need to specify our endpoint okay and here the endpoint is a slash api a slash users a slash register okay as you can see this is our base url and after that we need to point to the api users a slash register okay you can see here that in our server at first we have this endpoint api users and then in the user routes for registering a new user you see that here in user routes you see that after api slash users we have a slash register okay so with that said here for the second parameter we need to pass some options okay and here uh, for the body of our data we pass the name the email and the password and yes that's it and then we get back the data from the backend okay and here you can see the data that we get back is something like this okay and uh, this has this structure okay and here at the end i want to return the data okay and for the error in the catch block i want to say that if error dot response and the error dot response dot data dot message was true i need to return a new error okay so i return a new error and then i say i need to return this error message okay and with that said okay uh, we shouldn't return we just need to true new error okay and otherwise i just wanna true an error with this error that message okay so if we didn't have any error from our backend okay uh, we will return the default error message here from the axial okay and don't forget to export this function at the end okay so now we're good to go and we can use our sign up function and here the only thing that i need is to import sign up from users okay from services slash index slash users and there's another property here called on success okay and after getting this data from the backend this function runs automatically okay so here i have a callback and i can get my data and then the only thing that at this moment i want to do is that I just wanna log the data okay the data that we get back from our backend okay and at the end this hook returns some properties and i just wanna pull out the mutate and the is loading property from my mutation okay and then the only thing that i need is to call this mutate function and then has the properties okay so the first one is name the second one is email and the third one is password and we're getting these three things from the data okay from or form data so i say i want to pull out the name the email and the password from my form data okay so with that said i think we can send the request and before that i just wanna say that if our form uh, was invalid or the is loading was true i wanna disable my button okay so here we're getting the is loading from the use mutation hook so whenever we're waiting for the data here with this evade the is loading is true okay so we can try this here and 
if I fill the form with some data, for example, the password is 136 and the confirm password is 136. And if I hit the register button, see that I get the post. And I think we have an issue. And I think in the users, okay, so await axios, this must be post, okay? Axios.post. And before that, it was options. <laughs> I don't know why it was options. Okay, axios.post. And yeah, that's it. And if I send register again, you see that I get back the data. And yeah, here we go. We have our data and in the database, if I refresh the database, you see that my new user is created and I can also create another user, okay? So here I can create another user called Peter. Email is test at gmail.com. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six. The confirm password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I send a register, you see that I get back the data with the token, name, email, and everything that I needed. Okay. And yeah, if I refresh the database again, you see that I have my data here. And yeah, that's it. And what if we have an error? Okay. So uh, for example, here for the on success, we have also uh, another property called on error okay and this takes the error and then we can for example log the error so console.log and then error okay and here I wanna create an error to test this out okay so here I wanna remove the password and if you remember this password is required and we get back a bad request response okay so if I send my form again see for example I send my form for example whatever it is it doesn't matter another one and here for example test two at same gmail.com password the confirm password and then if I hit register you see that user validation field password is required okay so we can get back our data and here I wanna show this error okay so I wanna import the toast from react hot toast and then in our app.js file I need to import toaster with a capital T from react hot toast okay and at the end here I need to put this component at the end of my elements okay and now we can use our react hot toast library and here I say I wanna show this message okay so toast.error and then I wanna say that I need to show the error that message okay so if I send this for can't resolve react hot toast host toast no it's hot toast okay and now if I send this form you see that I get an error okay and I can show this error here so if I try a user that is existed in the database for example here for example here I have this user okay with this email and if I try it again you see that for example the name is Mamad, email is resemamad003 the password is 1 through 6 okay so we registered this user before and if I hit register you see that we get user have already registered so with that said we could send data to our database in this lesson and in the next session i wanna store this data in my redux okay